Yo, so we are back with another banger ass video and let's get into it because I really wanted to make this video today, man. Listen, right now you in a season of loss. You in a season of everything getting taken away from you. This is probably one of the worst years you'd have ever had an experience in your life. And you don't know what's going on. That's the reason why you clicked on this video. Because you know that there is a deeper meaning to why you're going through all these things that you're going through. See, you finally decided to chase after your purpose. You finally decided to chase something bigger with your life. I want you to understand this. When you get closer to where it is you need to be, when you start achieving your goals, when you get up off your ass, the devil doesn't like that, bro, because you are a chosen one. You were put on this earth to do amazing things. You was put on this earth to inspire millions, to inspire billions of people. So when the devil sees you getting closer to that, he is getting scared. The devil is getting scared, so he's doing anything in his power to try to stop you. But you don't realize that the only way he can stop you is by getting it inside of your mind because you're too powerful, bro. The devil has to make it seem like he has the power in your life. He has to make it seem like he has control over your life. But God is the one that has control over your life, bro. God is the one steering the ship. God is the one that has the final say so. But you don't realize that. You don't realize that yet. Just wait until you find out what your true potential is on this planet, bro. That's what the devil is afraid of. He's afraid that you're going to finally stop looking at all the bullshit. Stop looking at everything that's going wrong in your life. And you say, you know what? I am more than this. I can overcome anything. See, the devil doesn't want you to do that. But when you finally start doing that, he's going to be like, oh, shit, he's woke. Oh, shit, I got to watch out for this dude. Bro, you have it in you. You have so much hidden potential. You have so much potential in you, but you're letting these attacks get to your mind. See, it might be financially. It might be whatever. It might be physically. It might be mentally. Bro, you cannot let anything that the devil is trying to do win because at the end, the devil will always lose. Man, I want a big life. I want, I have big goals. I have big expectations for myself, bro. I want to blow up on YouTube. I want the nice cars. I want the nice houses. I want to be able to take care of my family. And every time I see these things, it's this little voice in my head. You can't do this. You would never make it. You would never get there. That is not God, bro. And I have to tell myself that this inner voice is not my voice. This inner voice is trying to stop me from getting to where it is that I need to be. And you might be going through the same thing, bro. You might be going through the most hardest point, the most darkest time in your life. And the devil is telling you to stop. The devil is telling you to stop going after your dreams. See, the same thing happened to me, bro. I literally lost everything. I lost my car. I lost my job. I lost my place. And I almost gave up on my dreams. But God is sitting here telling me to tell you that all you need is faith the size of a mustard seed. You have to find it inside of you. You have to find something inside of you that tells yourself you are the best. You are the greatest. You are the greatest person that ever stepped foot on this planet because you are going to do great things with your life. You have to understand that the greater your calling, the greater everything else is going to be in your life. You want to chase unordinary shit, unordinary things are going to start happening and nobody is going to relate to you, bro. That's the hardest part about all of this shit. You're going to be sitting here wondering why all these things are going on. You're going to be sitting here wondering why it's all happening to you and nobody around you, your friends, your family members, your classmates, your coworkers, Nobody is going to understand what you're going through, but I understand what you're going through, bro, because I'm going through it right now. I'm getting attacked left and right, left and right, but I know at the end of all of this, there is a better life. I got to stay focused because what happens when you don't stay focused? You become a drifter. You become a drifter in life. So you start going to the parties. You start chasing after the woman. You start chasing after things 
that might seem like they're gonna give you fulfillment, but they're not. It's only in the moment. You gotta really sit here and ask yourself, who put this weed in my hand? Who put this alcohol in my hand? Who put these thoughts inside of my head? Because it's not coming from God, bro. It's not coming from the man above. You are better than that. And all these things that you're doing is stopping you from seeing your true potential. When you put all that shit down, when you tell yourself, all I need is my mind, all I need is God, that's when you're going to find out what your true potential is, bro. You're never going to find out what you made of if you don't stop the BS. Bro, make everything a priority in your life, man. Make God a priority in your life. Make your goals a priority in your life. Because the devil will try anything. He will get underneath your skin if you let him. But you got to stay focused and you got to block out all of that noise in the background. It's going to be noise and it's going to be hard. You're going to have people in your life that just don't like you for no reason. And you got to you gotta find out. You got to understand this, bro. The same way God has chosen people to live out their purpose, to live out their dreams, to work for him, the devil has done the same. He has people that is going to work for him, that are completely lost in life, that are going to do anything that he says to do. That's why all of these people don't like you, bro. Because they see that light in you. They see that spark. And they're trying to dim it. But you have to know that you have a light inside of you that just can't be dimmed. You have something inside of you that just can't be taken away. Let people try to take it away. Let people try to harm you. Let people try to do whatever it is that they're going to do. Because in the end, it will never work in their favor. You are a chosen one, and I'm going to continue to say that because you don't realize how much power you actually have. See, I didn't realize how much power I actually had until I lost everything, until I lost everything, and I got it right back. You got to know what you're capable of, bro, because this season is almost over. Your job season is almost over. You have proven to God that you deserve everything that you about to receive, bro. You put in the work. You put in the hours. You put in the hours of sacrifice. You didn't go the other way that the devil was constantly trying to pull you into. And I get it, bro. Every single day, it's a constant battle. Do I go to the devil? Do I go to God? Do I go to these things that are serving me no purpose? Or do I just leave them alone and I just chase after my purpose? Chasing after your purpose, bro, is going to be one of the best decisions you can ever make in this life. And it's by no means going to be easy, bro. Life is going to be harder for you. Life is going to be way harder than the average person because you have bigger than average dreams. You have bigger than average goals. You have a bigger than average calling in this life. So that's something you have to remember whenever it is that you're going through something. And the best thing about us, the best thing about chosen ones is that the harder life gets, the better we become. The harder things and experiences and things, the, the worst thing that could possibly happen happens in our life. We use that. We use that to become something great in this life, bro. You have to understand that when something is going wrong, you have to understand that this pressure is going to turn me into a fucking diamond and nothing and nobody can stop me from getting to where it is that I need to be. See, I know this is something that you didn't sign up for and you looking around like, oh shit, I've never experienced nothing like this in my life. I don't know what it is I'm going through. I don't know why these things are happening. I don't know what to do. Just continue being yourself, bro. The worst thing you can possibly do is get lost and stop being yourself and stop chasing after your purpose and stop doing whatever it is God puts you on this earth to do because the devil wants you lost. The devil wants you dabbling in all that shit that he created, but you need to dabble in the stuff that God created, bro. God has a path for you. And when times get hard, when it gets dark, pray to God and let him know that you need guidance. Because you're not going to be able to do everything by yourself. They are teaming up against you and they are hoping that you fail. They are just waiting on the opportunity. 
They are waiting to laugh at you. They are waiting to doubt on you. But there is other people in this world that want to see you win. There is other people in this world that want you to get to the next level in life, bro. This is the end of this video for y'all, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and we out.